Tonight, Kevin and I are gonna try a little taste of Texas for you. Uh, Eric sent us these, so thank you, Eric. We really appreciate everything you sent. Um, we have two bars that we wanna try. Choco Right is the brand. They're Choco Right protein bars. And tonight, we're gonna try the peanut butter and the cookie dough. And then Kevin has uh, two chips here that we're gonna try. This is Whataburger chips. This is Jalapeno Ranch and the honey barbecue but we figured we'd try the bars first because those might uh, uh ruin our taste buds for the night so do you want to try the cookie let's try the cookie dough first. so eric's advice was to heat these up to warm them up but we would like since we've never had this bread we would like to try it both ways so uh we're like we usually do bars like we usually do um these are um uh, 100 calories, 10 grams of protein. I'm thinking they're sugar free. Um, zero sugar. That's what it says. Did it say zero? Zero glycemic impact. Yeah. So. Mm. Immediately got a whiff of that. Oh, wow. That smells that? good. This is the cookie dough. It looks like uh, one of the Quest bars. It sure does. It looks very, very similar to a Quest bar. What does it's, it smell like? It smells like cookie dough. You think it smells like cookie dough? I do. What do you think it smells like? I don't know. Like a chocolate chip cookie? Mm, maybe. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to try just a little... It looks piece. just like a Quest bar, and it feels like a Quest bar. If you've ever had a Quest bar, the consistency of it, uh, just briefly touching it. A little chewier than Quest, but they're mm -hmm. they're very similar. Mm. Well, you open the peanut butter one, and I'll go heat this one up. Mm. That's actually really, really good. I like that. Not even warm. That is good. I can tell you that right now. What I was going to say is, this um, it's like a Quest bar, except it's smaller, but it's only 100 calories. Most Quest bars are like two. One, 190, 200 calories, I think. So, for these to only be 100 calories, I love that. Now, this is heated up cookie dough. Did you like that? I thought that was yeah, excellent. These have a chunk of chocolate. Oh, in yeah, them. there's a huge chunk of chocolate in. I don't think the flavor was much different, but the, the texture was much softer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. If you like that, Quest bars, you would like that. That was really good. I wonder, we've never seen these kind of bars in our area, though, so I'm wondering mm -hmm. if they're only sold somewhere no, else. No, um, <laughs> you can buy them online. Oh, can you? Yes. And they're made in Evansville, Indiana. Uh, this is the peanut butter. Oh, that's not too far, man. No. No, uh, you can buy them online, though. Mm, that smells it's good. It's funny, now, they're made in Indiana. They have them in Texas, but they don't have them in Kentucky. I know, that's <laughs> it's totally funny. warped. Um, now, keep in mind with the peanut butter, don't be offended if we don't like it. Because I will warn you right now, uh, Kevin and I have not been impressed with, with any, the peanut butter any, in, in bars. Any bar. <laughs> any protein bar. It's just hard to get good peanut butter in these, you know, 100 calories. It's not bad. Mm -mm. It literally tastes like an unsalted peanut. It sure does. <laughs> I, I like that. Work. That's good. I actually like that. And there were these bars that we just recently tried. And they remind me of those. They're the, um, they're, they're by the makers of Be Up Protein Bars. They're not the Be Up ones. They're the Be, uh, Be Jammin' or Be... Yeah, something like that. Something like that. We just tried them not too long ago. And that reminds me of that peanut butter. And it was really good. Much, much softer. <laughs> so, not bad. Uh, <laughs> I 
I would actually eat that. I, I like that one hot too. Yeah, I can see myself eating that. Mm, that's actually a good peanut butter. Mm -hmm. butter. Now, at room temperature, that really did taste like a unsalted raw peanut, which is right. a little a little too raw for me. Um, that actually tastes more like a like a you know roasted peanut or something. Right. I which like one did you like better? The peanut one. Did you? Mm -hmm. I think I like the cookie dough better, and I think I like it better and uh heated yeah. and i know eric you like them heated i like it heated but i think i don't know i like it unheated because for me too if it's unheated it's gonna last longer because it's gonna take me longer to chew it right then yeah, it's all chewier and soft and it just uh it's so easy to chew when it's when it's heated and, and they're um i actually like the texture of those better than the crust bars because the crust bars are so thick and dense that even when you heat them up, they're still pretty thick and dense. Right. Um, I'm wondering if that has anything to do with, too, with them being no 100 calories. And no sugar. You didn't talk about those at all. Oh, I'm sorry. You? He's just These down. are honey barbecue kettle cooked potato chips. Uh, they're perfectly sweet and salty. Why wouldn't they be? After all, the flavor comes from a tried and true sauce that we serve in Smiling Face at our restaurants. Uh, these are... 280 calories for the entire bag. So Whataburger is a restaurant in San Antonio, Texas. I guess so. It's Whataburger.com. I like I that name, Whataburger. Whataburger. I like that. I think I've heard of that. I okay. wonder if Guy Fieri has ever been there. Guy Fieri. You, huh? Guy Fieri. Yeah, you took the curl one. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. No, I'll find you. I'll find you. It's different. It's barbecue, but it has a vinegary kind of flavor to it, and it. It's very, very crispy. I'm just talking about the flavor itself. The crispiness is the kettle chip. The flavor, though. Oh, I didn't see it was kettle. Yeah, those. That's a really good barbecue sauce. I mean, that's really good. It sure is. I would eat that on a piece of chicken. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or. Um... Uh, roast beef, pulled pork. Pulled pork, pulled that'd be pork. very good too. Ooh. That's really good. That's very good. I have to look up Whataburger to see where we have them at around us. These are gluten free too. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not. It's not hot barbecue. It's not spicy. It's it's sweet. Yeah, it's, it's very, very sweet. good. And it's got, but it's got some different spices than you don't expect in mm -hmm. barbecue sauce. So maybe it's the honey or something. I don't know. Uh, this one's the jalapeno ranch. It says, if you've ever had our jalapeno ranch signature sauce, you know that there's nothing quite like it, but just the right amount of that same spice and tanginess in every one of these chips, we're willing to bet you'll savor every kettle cooked crunch. Uh, these are also 280 calories for the entire bag. Gluten-free, zero trans fats. Those are gluten-free. These don't say gluten-free. No, this says no artificial color. But those, the this jalapenos says, say gluten-free. Does that look green to you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> But I, love I open the bag up and it's like glow in the dark green in there. I love jalapenos. And he saved the curled one for me. Now those are super crispy. Normal. I get more jalapeno than ranch. I get the jalapeno. It's uh, there's some spice in that. Yeah, it's got a little bit of heat to it. That does have some heat, but I like it. It's a good heat. It is good. It's it's almost it's almost like eating a regular like a straight jalapeno. Um, so it's too hot for you. No, it's not bad. It's not too hot. I'm just saying the flavors are like eating a jalapeno. It's not. I don't taste any ranch. Mm -mm. I guess the jalapeno kind of overrides the ranch a little bit, but. No, I don't get the ranch either. But it does kind of burn right in the back of your throat. Mm -hmm. Out of the two, I like the, really I like the honey barbecue better because I can just not worry about eating it, all of them. Just eat them. Just eat them and not yeah. worry about the heat. Yeah, those are good. Although are they once the same you, calories? Yeah, 280. Okay. Once you ate probably five or six of those, I think the heat would kind of all merge together and then you would enjoy the flavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, they're really, really those good. Those are really good. Um, we'll have to look and see where a Whataburger is around here, if there is one. Yeah, I don't know if there's one near us. I bet um, you there's not. I bet you it's an East Coast kind of thing. Probably, uh, or uh, West Coast, you mean. I mean West Coast. He meant <laughs> So, we love the stuff, Eric. I'm, I'm glad you've introduced us to some new bars, which mm -hmm. is always dangerous, because then... Especially if you can't find them. Yeah, you can't find them, then we have to order them online. I'll Shame have on to, you. I'll have to make a chart <laughs> and keep track. When we did the Quest Bar reviews, 
I kept a piece of paper and I wrote down which ones we really liked and which ones we liked heated and mm -hmm. unheated. So um, I'll have to keep a little chart with these two since there are six of them. So in the next two videos to come, you'll see uh, two in each video. So, so six total. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Eric, thank you again. Mm -hmm. um, hope everyone else enjoyed watching this. And um, see you later.